Hi everyone, this is Dr. Abhilash and in today's video we are going to see about gallbladder stones. Because gallbladder stones have become one of the commonest problems in our day to day practice and the diagnosis of gallbladder stones have gone up because many people are undergoing master health checkup nowadays and they get diagnosed with gallbladder stones even though they do not have any symptoms and patients end up with a surgeon asking what are these stones, what do I do with it. So in this video we will have a small discussion about what these are and how to treat them. Okay, first thing you need to know is what are uh, gallbladder stones. The uh, gallbladder is a small pouch which is located underneath the liver and uh, this gallbladder is responsible for storing the bile which comes from the liver and they uh, concentrate it and push it out uh, whenever you take a meal which is especially rich in fat. So bile is a digestive juice which is responsible for fat digestion. Whenever the gallbladder fails to do this work properly, when it is not able to concentrate the bile properly, what happens is the bile salts and bile pigments, they all saturate along with some cholesterol crystals to form uh, the gallbladder stones. These stones could be either a pigment stones or sometimes mixed stones when they are also combined with cholesterol crystals. Stones can cause with, uh, I mean the patients can present with two major symptoms. Uh, first symptom could be a dyspepsia. Dyspepsia means indigestion of food. Whenever the patient takes a heavy meal, they feel bloated and they are not able to digest the food properly as a result of which they might end up sometimes even vomiting. The second symptom could be a sharp pain noted in your right side upper abdomen uh, which can be also after a heavy meal intake Okay, because this stone comes and blocks the neck of the gallbladder as a result of which they develop a sharp pain. Sometimes the patient can also present with complications of gallstones. So what happens is when the patient develops the uh, sudden pain which is also due to uh, the stone blocking the neck of the gallbladder it is called as acute cholecystitis and this if doesn't get treated it can lead on to something called as mucosal or uh, empyema of the gallbladder which is uh, the entire contents inside uh, gets converted to pus and uh, gets badly infected and uh, there are some instances where it can perforate and uh, lead on to further complications of peritonitis and uh, there are other patients uh, where the stones uh, gets slipped out of the gallbladder and goes and gets stuck in the bile duct and it can completely block the flow of bile from the liver leading on to jaundice or further down uh, it can also block the duct of the pancreas which can lead to something called as pancreatitis which is another life threatening oh, patients come and ask uh, what do we do with these stones how do we treat these stones as far as uh, medical treatment goes there are no medicines which can actually break or lyse the stones okay the possible uh, treatment option available so far is uh, surgery where we go and remove the gallbladder by means of laparoscopy or in very difficult cases there is a small role of uh, open cholecystectomy so the uh, the main treatment of uh, gallbladder stones is going to be cholecystectomy or the removal of gallbladder and uh, patients uh, who are ideal candidates for surgery will be the ones who are symptomatic now, as far as I told earlier the patients who are actually having uh, dyspeptic symptoms and on and off uh, abdomen pain especially after a meal intake those patients are very well benefited by surgery and uh, as far as asymptomatic patients are concerned patients uh, who are above the age group of 50 and uh, patients who are diabetics because these people are more prone for complications and uh, they go in for complications at a much faster rate at a lesser time. So the group of patients who require surgery even though they do not have any symptoms will be the ones who are elderly as well as who are diabetics. All the patients who are going to undergo surgery they have a common doubt what will happen to my digestion after the surgery we are removing the gallbladder so they think uh, the digestion is going to be grossly affected after the surgery but it is not the case exactly because gallbladder is just a storage organ bile is actually coming from the liver so even after the removal of gallbladder bile continues to come from the liver the only thing is uh, initial three to four weeks after the surgery your uh, food intake has to be mainly to avoid fatty foods and oily foods and uh, in a period of a month uh, the body adapts to it and normally the bile duct will take care of the function and you'll be able to eat like any other normal individual. So I think this video would have given you a brief idea about gallbladder stones and in case you have further queries you can leave some comments and uh, also you can try to consult with a surgeon to know uh, what could be the best treatment option for you. Thank you.